to you. Can I say that there's not enough money <laughs> on this street that would make me play to you any of my new songs? It will cost you 50 grand. Now, unless you've got it, or else if you're That's not even, that's not even 50 pence, man. That's no, it's 20 p. Who was that for? All right, tell you what, right? That's Gabby Roslin. Right. Right. Ed, Ed's we play him, Tails we don't. Yeah. Here we go. Right. Okay. I'm not, as we play him, tells me now. Is that what I said? Edge. <laughs> it's Edge, it's Edge! <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> it wasn't, Tails. you know it wasn't. It was Tails. Never, I, I, no, excuse me, it was Tails, never trust a man. <laughs> never trust a man who's got a mirror in the shape of his own head. It was Tails. A riff of, of my big mouth, the riff, a chord. <laughs> We got a plectrum. Oh! Ah. No. <laughs> no. Right, Can't okay. do it without a plectrum, you see. No, fair enough. All right, I'm not going to argue it anymore. Hey, you know what? The Brits. Yes. Oh, is that a disappointment? Is that? Yeah, big, isn't yeah. it? All right, no, we oh, can't. Well, let's hear one of your songs then. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big confrontation, that wasn't it? That's <laughs> well, you know. fair enough, I suppose. As far as the Brits are concerned, yes. uh, is it true that you, that you, you said to someone that you were th you, there was a threat made to you or veiled threats to you? that not playing live at the Brits might hinder your career, is that true? Yeah. Twice in two years, actually. What actually happened then? Um, the first year, uh, we didn't particularly want to play, and they said, well, this could harm your career, and I'd like to say to the person, whoever you are... Don't swear. Ham. <laughs> um, gutted. Um, <laughs> and, and, and the second year, uh, which, which, was, which was the one just gone, uh, we said that we'd play outside for the, for the people on the streets. Yeah. And they said, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> oh, no, you can't do that, you see, because that would be taken away from the, uh, from the vibe of the show. So we said, OK, we won't do it then, without swearing. That's what I'll say. Okay, we, won't, yeah, we won't do it. And then they said, oh, well, they're just trying to uh, sustain their street credibility. Do you think the Brits are a sham? I think every time you've presented it, it's been terrible. <laughs> Do you think the awards themselves are a sham? I think that any... Oh, I've, yeah, oh, I'll, I'll just get into my little... All right, you know, no, any award that's presented by the kids on the streets, God bless you all, um, is, is, is important. Any one that's presented by people in ponytails and suits, culprit, you know, yeah. we don't really particularly interested in that. But the reason we went was because if we didn't go, it would be... We had to be there to... Well, basically, to swear on TV. Right. <laughs> and eventually they played that version where you did. Yes. OK. Were well, you aware that, uh, that the organiser of the Brits condemned uh, Jarvis for what he did during the Jackson number? Jarvis Cocker, I must say this, Jarvis Cocker is a star and he should be given an MBE. Yeah! Because, because, because for Michael Jackson to come over to this country after what's all gone on, and I think we all know what we're talking about here, to dress <laughs> in a white robe, right, thinking he's the, he's the messiah. I mean, I mean, who does he think he is? Me? Right? <laughs> It's out of order. The only reason I didn't dress in a, I didn't dress in a white robe is because my mother could not get the wool from the shopping centre. <laughs> next year. Next year, she's in a white robe. Next year, we've got the paper mache cross. Like. <laughs> yes, it's all there. You, would you go next year? Pardon? Would you go next year? I probably won't get nominated next year. No, but if, would you go if you were? If, are you going? I'm not going to go ever again. Well, I'm not going if you're not going. Right. Uh, how's Liam? Big headed. <laughs> Is it true that you said uh, he, he's always wanted to be me? He always has, it's just the way he is. Of course he's always wanted to be me. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to be him? Ever? Not once? For one second? Uh, I, d I actually did, for one second. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to do with Patsy Kensit? No? <laughs> <laughs> what was the one second you wanted to be Liam? I, it, was, it was so incidental, I can't even remember it. All right, but it was one second. It was one second, it, it came and it went. <laughs> In the second? It, just like that. Do you, need, do you need each other professionally? Do you actually need each other? I don't need anybody. Really? No. See what I need? I need my guitar and my imagination. And and people, people like you to plug my records, Chris. <laughs> And now, unfortunately, it's my guitar and you won't play it. I know. No. Well, it was, ah, well, it wasn't Ed's, was it? It was Ted. It was Ed's. You know it was Blimmin' Ed's. Now, yeah. in the kitchen, you'll say, I know it was Ah, uh, Oh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, maybe. Listen, <laughs> maybe. You're going to be the one. Save me. Nah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm going to do one. I like that. Do you? I admire that. Cool. I admire that. Now, listen. I want to, I want to, I've got, because I'm very grateful you come on the show today, because you flew back from abroad to.